Hey friends, we're back in the podcast studio. I'm Angela. I'm Marcy. <laughs> and it's us in the garage. Bring it in. Ooh, we're so ready to like fist pump. We forgot what we were going to say. Yeah, well, you know, we're here. We're chilling. So what are we doing today? Okay, thanks again for joining. This is your virtual cigar lounge. I know, it's like boom, boom, boom. Um, so we're going to, I, I just came back from the, uh, a cigar BQ charity. Barbecue. Yeah. Cigar BQ. What a cool play on words, right? Barbecue, cigar BQ. I like it. Charity event. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about why we're drinking this today. We are going to talk about, of course, the cigars we're smoking today. And hopefully we'll get to some music. Yeah, because the, you know, Puro said music podcast there. We got the playlist. We're going to throw up some songs. Mm -hmm. We have some time for that. And then we're just going to close with our toast, right? We're going to have some fun today. Sounds good. And we're going to get started. So let's then do cheers first. We'll do cheers. We, I could use a drink. We, it was kind of a day. Before we cut my, oh yeah, this is going to be good. <laughs> so we'll uh, just cheers this and then we'll kind of describe this in a, in a moment. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll crack I, gotta, it first. I always have to find two, three, four. <laughs> Where I put the information, I never kind of want to misspeak here. Cheers. Boy, cheers. Thank you for coming. Thank you. The, uh, I think, did you hear that? It was like a, um, the morning dove. I love the morning dove. Uh, yeah. So it was like, uh, they cheers with us. <laughs> that was cute. They so, always yeah. eat Let's the... Let's cut um, that one more time. I think my hand was in the way. That's oh. okay. <laughs> Don't, don't the morning doves sound so pretty? They do. They always eat. They, they don't fly up to the feeders. Mm. They eat whatever is left on the ground. Oh, oh yeah. Cute, cute. Um, oh, yeah, you know, delicious. it's good, right? It's good. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to see. Yeah, it's nice. We're going to talk about that in a sec. But uh, I just wanted to say, um, actually, comment below. Did you know it was a M-O-U-R-N morning dove? Like... In the morning, yes. I, I thought it was like morning, like the sun's up, it's <laughs> good morning. Yeah, nope. It's when up. I was a little girl, I thought it was the, only in the morning. And then, yeah. you know, as you get older, you realize, because now it's like late, right? We just came from work mm -hmm. and they're hooting and hollering out there. And uh, I remember when I was told, like, Angel, that's, that's, it's, you're wrong. Yeah. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Did you always know that? I, I, I did know that. We used to have them. Um, my parents always loved them, the sound of the morning dove. So we, but I'm also now at that age where I'm like, oh, birds. Like I know what their names are, and we're driving. I'm like, oh, that's a, that's a crackle. Oh, that's a, that's a, um, uh, cutthroat. That's a. I'm just like, it's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah, no, it's that. Yeah, it's, it's trying to find the right bird feed. To yeah. Get the you know the bluebirds to the yard or whatever. I'm just like I I've been seeing a lot of bluebirds. Yeah, do you know what's funny? There. We will walk like through a, the, a rail trail, and which is only like ten minutes from our house, and there are bluebirds mm. on the rail trail. Nice, but they don't come to my yard. Mm. I don't know why. Come, come bluebirds, you're so pretty. Oh, they are. Come, I will feed are. you. <laughs> okay, sorry. They are. Oh no, no, you're good. You're good. Um, so yeah, this is the, uh, we're going to talk about, uh, Handsome Devil Barbecue today. They're the ones that threw the, uh, the, uh, charity cigar barbecue. <laughs> this is put out by Millhouse, uh, Brewing Company. And, um, we're here in the Hudson Valley, New York. And I always say, you know, if you're in the tri-state area from this, you know, this broadcast here, mm -hmm. come check it out. But the cool thing too, is this beer not this, not the Academy Street, because this, this actually they made, see the, uh, the, what is that, a spade, a spade? It's a spade, yes. Um, I'll show you on the shirt, too. It's the same yeah. logo. Um, Millhouse made this, I think, for the charity only. Um, Millhouse brews other beers for Handsome Devil. Uh, I think it's called, um, I don't know, I don't actually, I, I don't know what it's called. I don't want to misspeak, but... Anyhow, if you're in the tri-state area, it's worth the drive. It's mm -hmm. worth, you know, in the Hudson Valley, if you're over here, check out Handsome Devil. Um, again, I'll talk about that after we cut Mike because they're award-winning. And uh, But the, the good thing is halftime, and I'll put it here. Oh, yeah. We had said this in the past. You They ship to your door, and I believe, I don't, I don't know if it's all 50 states, but it's definitely the 48, con, what do they call it, the contingent? Contingent. Con, yes, con, 
front round. Contiguous or something. So, contiguous. Contiguous. I think it's contiguous. I believe you. I believe you. Anyway, halftime uh, beverages, um, they will ship to your door and Millhouse, um, when we've said you like the cold one, yes. that's their one of their brands with a K, mm -hmm. the cold one, we said we like their cucumber blessings. Yeah, brew. it's that's that, it's so they, but that, that one is right so to your door. popular. The cucumber the, one. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan. Mm. I have to say, one of my friends like that's all she'll drink when she's there. But uh, yeah, you know, it is funny though. They do have very popular um, flavors. Yeah, no. So uh, definitely, uh, you know, circle back to this this episode if you do order it and you try it. Even if it's a month from now, comment. Let us definitely know. I want to know what you think because the cucumber blessings, um, oh, good. you don't, have you tried it though? I you're, have, not, you're just not a fan. I, I'm but I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Got I'm it. A fan. I'm definitely a fan. And we both like cold one. Yes. We both like yes. cold one. Yeah. So uh, every time you say blessing, I just keep thinking of um, <laughs> <What>? <laughs> um, the National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Oh, oh are you yeah. a fan? Yeah. Oh, are you kidding me? Right? The we old watch guy. It, like, we watch that. Yes. <laughs> to work and people were just like <gasps> but now I'm here so it's all coming back I was gonna say this cigar <laughs> our banter we're gonna relax right <laughs> it's gonna be nice plus with this forget it you definitely uh, yeah give it give it a couple minutes it was neat <laughs> it was definitely needed so all right you want to go first or we go first all right so who's you first me first you first <laughs> you can well you could uh start talking about that well, you you know i mean does it well i was gonna say while i uh, them all together you want to cut and light here i'm doing my v cut what kind of cut you have here trusty my, guillotine my trusty guillotine yeah the thing is i'm gonna tell you what we're both smoking as like why because then you could kind of say what you you got going on there sure i have the amazing SP 1014 Red, and I think this is dubbed Love and Passion. Uh, that's like its nickname for this one. Um, I've had this in the past, and I think there's a couple of videos where I do, you know, give accolades to Sanj Patel puts this out. He's been making cigars since the 90s. Uh, he is, they certainly know their tobacco, they certainly know what they're doing. But the reason why you're smoking the Drew Estate and I've got the Sanj, the SP 1014, is because again from, tell us, the cigar barbecue charity, yeah, which is kind of like it. intertwined. There. <laughs> 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 yeah, so when you buy your ticket, um, they give you a pack of cigars upon the and when you, you know, at the door, and of course Sanj uh, donated cigars to this and uh the the rep which i think is um uh, i know i know i think but i don't know like i don't know <laughs> anyway shout out to maddie rock uh i'll put his link right here too who doesn't know him in the cigar world everybody knows him he reps and he does a whole bunch of stuff he like manages this he does events he does it and he that. he does it with uh drew estate and others um, so he was there, um, kind of like representing Drew Estate. So you've got the, which one do you have there? Uh, like well, this Estate. is the Undercrown Shade. Yeah. Let me just throw a little shade at you right there. <laughs> Only because there's a shade on there. All right, yeah. I'm in apparently rare form this, this, <laughs> uh, this afternoon. Holy. I love it. That's holy yell. I've got. Well, do you know why it's called Shade? Because you, because listen, and I'm going to share this with the cigar community. Okay. Right, I um, am started this right. We started this kind of with the cigar education, absolutely, this and that. Of course, I learned a lot for fun. I don't know what I've retained. <laughs> it's good, but I've learned it. One hundred. That's what I was gonna say. You don't, you out there, like you don't have to know anything. You don't have to know if it tastes like hazelnut. You don't have to know. No. Nope. You just have to know if you enjoy just you know the the ritual of enjoying a cigar. But so mm -hmm. we give Marcy Grace here. Um, <laughs> She's actually been smoking longer than me. She's so confused. But <laughs> well, you don't have to know. I mean, I if did. it's Connecticut shade, it's this, that. I, I mean, you don't have to know. 
You just have to enjoy it. Yeah, and I, I never, I've learned a whole bunch since being here, but yeah, I used to buy them or order them um, based on the label, like, or the name of them. You know, some of these are just kind of cool. It's like yeah. picking out lipstick, like, oh, that's a really cool name. I want that shade. Yep. Who knows why? Shade, but um bum Oh! <laughs> but um bum um, Yes, because, um, Connecticut chain. So tell us anything you could know about that. All right, so we have the Ecuador Connecticut wrapper. Uh, we have the binder is Sumatra and the filler is uh, Dominican Nicaraguan. So I'm excited to, um, to try this one because I won't tell you what the flavor notes are because I like to, to uh, oh, I love that, love it, love it. It's been so warm too, and I'm just like, oh, do I have time to go and smoke a cigar? <laughs> so I'm, um, I'm excited to. Uh, I like the lighter ones, and mine's are just sort of creamy and light and mm. just easy to smoke. Yeah. So we'll give it a shot. Yep. Let's thanks. light her up. Yep. So for mine, this is a Dominican Creole. Wait got this. My brain too. I believe in you. Corojo. I I got all these uh, Dominican. You okay? I'm good. I'm just wrecking <laughs> the place. <laughs> Forgive me, Sanj. I know what this is. I just can't speak. <laughs> I only had one sip of this. I'm not even there yet. And I'm already like, but up, but up, but up. <laughs> um, this is the Dominican uh, Corojo Puro. Meaning, you know what a Puro is yet? Uh, the it, that means it's got it's the wrapper, the filler, and the binder are all the same. All from the same country of origin. Yes. Whoa! Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> a plus for you. That's right. So this is a pure Dominican Corojo. This is an absolute beautiful smoke. This, uh, like I said, I've had this in the past, but as we smoke through it, you know, sometimes those flavor profiles kind of they get enhanced as you get towards the last third. Right, the cigar is warming up. The tobacco is warming up. The flavors get a little more enhanced. So this, if this is um, it's got a little bit of a hit of spice, this has a little bit of like earthiness. This actually has like a sweetness that um, you know sometimes too. Like you know how like half and half or like a sweet like a cream, mm -hmm. the whipping cream. Yeah. And you just taste it like naked if you've ever mm -hmm. had like. And there's that underlying beautiful creamy yes. sweetness. But like not maybe necessarily like a sugar cookie sweetness. Sure, yeah. There's that, right, I there's get that it. type of different of sweetness. I get it. So this is just, I mean, it's just going to hit your palate just right. So again, comment below if you've ever tried any of the Sanj Patels. I can smell that aroma too. Mm -hmm. um, and, and too, I've always said too with like cigars, um, I, um, I like the whole experience. It's kind of like um, when you cook something. Mm -hmm. And let's say, I don't know, onions might not be the best example, but for me, I do love a nice sautéed onion. Sometimes mm. in the past, I, um, I've, I've sautéed some onions um, just as like a side even sure. with our meal. Sure. Sometimes, you know, when you're just throwing stuff together, maybe like a quick quick and dirty dinner like for you and Doug, or <laughs> you know, you're running around with the kids mm. and you're like, what do I have in the fridge? I that's And I, I literally like, I'll just chop up one or two onions because Jen and I like, well, we like it like, you know, yeah, with the olive oil sort yeah. of as like even a side to whatever we have. I agree. Yep. So it's that, but it's like so right. So when you're chopping an onion, there's that smell, and when you're sautéing the onion, it's a it's different, a different smell. onion. So yeah. that's what I mean about like um, certain things on the palate with a cigar. Yeah. You kind of have that's, to yeah. like, let it like marinate and mm -hmm. all those things. Mm -hmm. so. I, I it's funny we. Uh, my husband and I, we do burgers and beer every Friday night. Yeah. And um, a lot of times we'll go to places and they'll have stuff on tap that we've never had before. And so they allow you to try them. Um, but I find that you do. It's like you take the first sip and you're like, mm, and then all of a sudden I'm like, take another sip. Mm -hmm. Like make sure it's not just like salting your palate and then you're like, absolutely not. You know, let it sink in a little. Yeah. And then take another sip. Cause when I know we've done that with cigars. You're like, no, 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 no. But by the time you're done, you're like, no, that was actually really good. <clears throat> yeah, this one actually had the tapered foot, the closed foot um, upon light up, uh, t closed foot. And um, that also creates like a new, a different flavor. 
profile than mm -hmm. if it if you know than yours but right but yeah with anything and then people in the cigar world you know um this is really i know if you know you know but this is really for the newbies like right the first they they, they like to say a flavor profile of a cigar is in thirds. thirds yeah so and then it so like you said now does doug um does he care like is he ever like oh the the last third of a cigar is my favorite or he's just enjoying it just for the ritual of yeah. the, the billowing smoke. Just it. Just yeah. That. Yeah. 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 I, and I don't even know if it's that much of a... Me, I like to... I like everything that the cigar brings to me mentally. <laughs> yes! Oh, my goodness. 100%. Sometimes it's not... Yeah, I'll uh, choose from my humidor. Like, oh, this one, this one really tastes good. But I think at the end of the, the day or however you want to phrase it it's really just the experience that you just feel relaxed and you can either be playing cards or you can just do whatever and it's just this I don't know I don't know it's like a calm washes over you or something I'm just making shit up now no no it's true no I'm just <laughs> listening I'm I sometimes I feel like I talk too fast and I have to like uh, um, I uh, I never used to let people hear me on the on the when I don't listening on, on Spotify. It's like <laughs> blah, blah, blah. I don't want to. I don't want to. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to. So I'm just sitting. Here. I'm listening. Just just, listening. They're listening. Take it all in. Yeah. It all in. They want to hear you, Marcy. They don't want to hear me. They want to hear you. I don't know about that. Uh, <laughs> I don't know that I ever really noticed like the first third, the second third, mm -hmm. whatever. Um, perhaps if it was just I'm gonna sit down and try this cigar. Mm. I may have have thought like about focus it. Focus more, like focus, like right? Or focus, right? Um, I yeah. think you know. I just what your palate is saying to you. Smoke the cigar, and then at the end, I'm done. I'm like, oh, that was really good. Mm -hmm. Like for whatever third of it it was, it was good. Yeah, no, <laughs> it's true. Well, the final third, the last third, is my. It's always been my favorite. Well, yeah, favorite. definitely. I mean, you've got everything cooking in there mm -hmm. for the mm -hmm. amount of time, and and yeah, you could. You could light it up and be like, no, nah, maybe. By the time you're done, you're like, oh, right, this is good. It's like childbirth, the second one. You never remember the second one. <laughs> the second one, you're like, was there pain for the first one? <laughs> there must have been. <laughs> <laughs> you forget certain things. Because so. my mom has three, and she said the same thing. By the time my brother was, was like, what was I thinking? <laughs> so we're good. You're just like, oh, they're cute, and they're fun, and then you're like, have another. why did I teach you to talk? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what my was goodness. I thinking? Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, I have to pay for college for a third one. Ah, three. No, my I know. My parents had three, too. Um, yeah. Did you, did you, when you were like, I don't know, 16, 12, 20, did you, did you think like, oh, I want five kids one day, or did you ne ever put a number on it? Never. Never. I did. Crazy. Really? Yeah, it was, it's weird. I always in my mind, I don't, and maybe since I was 14, it's like this because we said we had we babysat. Yeah, yeah. It was just so like I think I was like you know mo mother. Be I, well, I was mothering motherly to my younger Got it. siblings. Yeah, I'm the oldest. So anyway, that's but true. But then when I babysat for years and years, I don't know. I just like was like, I was gonna have four kids one day, and then when the twins came, you know, it's like you have two kids, one kid for one each hand. Yes. And then I was like. I only have two hands, and I just grabbed the two babies, and I was like, you know what? That dream <laughs> has quickly flew out of my head. <laughs> now a nightmare. Yeah. So I was um, like, because I don't know how, you know, like, it is what it is. So well, if you have more than two kids, God bless you, because yes. I don't know how my folks did it. My uh, <laughs> household of footballers, mm. um, it's, um, you go from man-to-man -man coverage to zone coverage. <laughs> and once you go past man-to-man -man coverage, what doesn't make any sense. So... Yeah, that's how Doug references it. Yeah, that's what he says. It's fine. Two is good. Two is um, perfect and overwhelming <laughs> at every like at every stage. stage. Yeah, yeah. You're like, this is a great age, you know. Yeah. And then like six months later, you're like, this age sucks. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, it does go in like cyclical. Yeah. Um, yeah. But also, I my my older brother and I are just two years apart, mm. and then my younger brother. Uh, I'm five years older than him, so he's my older brother, seven years older than him. And I know 
he got away with a lot. Your if you, my youngest you, brother. Oh, you, oh, oh, yeah. Please, my yeah. my we dubbed my youngest baby brother the golden the child. golden child. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. it was totally he totally. So you know. Oh, good. I'm happy with two. I mean. The garage is closed, so two is all we're having. <laughs> I'm, you know what? I'm curious too. Definitely comment below because then we can touch upon it in the next episode mm -hmm. or you know next future episode if you if anyone out there experienced a younger sibling, girl or boy, brother sister who was the golden child. <laughs> it's always so I hated you, Corey. <laughs> I love you now, but it was tough. It was just it's something, yeah. Well, you're only like eight or something, and you're dealing with like that. You don't know, how, you know, it's a lot going on. Get all the attention, and I'm the only girl, so I, you know, he yeah. came on. I was like, "Excuse me, I'm sorry. <laughs> what happened to your princess? And this is not how this was supposed to pan out." That's funny. That's good. All right, so I have this shirt um cigar bq charity it says on the front look how nice that is look at the colors and look at the back show it next to the the can it's like the same <gasps> oh it's got the spade yeah so i um what does it say it says handsome devil cigar bq new york april 2024 i so love that's it that's for you and let me just give a shout out oh you love me. You uh, really love me. <laughs> That's for you. So uh, let, let's give uh, shout outs where they're due. Okay, so Ed and his wife, Noel, own Handsome Devil. Again, go check them out, please. Um, they There's many things that was, were going on there. I, was, I got an opportunity to DJ the event, so that was super cool, super fun. So shout out and thanks to Ed and Noel for having me there. And I said, Matty Rock, uh, he was there. He's that tall guy with the beard that everybody you see. Uh, he's everywhere in the cigar community online. If you don't know him, you do know him. Trust me, I know I know you know him. Everyone knows him. So, and then like I mentioned, Sanj. And then there was also Cigars for Warriors, which we've talked about We here. have, yeah. I believe his name was uh, Pete. Shout out to you. I, I don't, I hope I'm saying, I hope, uh, forgive me if that wasn't your name because um, there's so many people, there's so many, there's so many reps. Um, I think it was Pete. Um, so there was a table for cigars for warriors there. They raised a lot of money. It was really great. They did a raffle, this and that. Um, and then Marcy and I on this podcast, we, um, I think that's coming up this summer too. We like to um, do like a whole awareness of getting the cigars um, to our troops. Oh, usually probably for like July 4th. Yes. We always yeah. do cigars um, for warriors and um, I've always um, given to that charity as well. Oh, so here's the thing. So it was, um there, there was a gentleman that passed away and I don't want to misspeak. So I think the charity was first um, in his name and honor um, for this gentleman. I think he was a fellow pit master with the barbecue. So I think Ed, right, he started it with that. The gentleman passed away, and like I said, I don't have all the detail on that, so I can put the information below. But So there was that, and in his honor and memory. Um, but then also, um, the speeches that were given, there was this um, family with uh, their son was in a skateboarding accident. And oh. the reason why, I kind of, I don't want to bring the mood down, but the reason why I do want to bring it up on this episode is because, um, it was we, they were raising money to help with his medical bills because Oof. well because yeah and sadly and i didn't realize this even as a mother who my son actually loves to skateboard they had mentioned that the, the child didn't have a helmet on yeah. but the bad bad part about that was you know aside from like he was in the hospital for a few, like many weeks and this and that and um and, you know they raised a lot of money to go towards that family which was you know which was good, but again, sad. But he, they were saying that the insurance didn't cover certain, like most all the medical bills Oof. because he was Wasn't not in compliance. Oh my God. I know, isn't that horrible? When they said that, Marcy, my heart fell. And, oh. and so that's kind of why I want to mention it too, is like right. PSA, if you don't know, like 
I know, because even for me, like, it's hard. Like, my kids will be like, oh, you know, like, they don't want to wear the helmet or yeah. they kind of poo-poo. And, you know, I'm, you know, I'm like, oh, I'm always like, I'm going to be the bad mother. Like, yeah. I know, I'm going to annoy you. Yeah. You know, it's like, I have to, right? Yeah, we yep. have to annoy our kids. But the thing is, I didn't know that was like a thing. I, I mean, I, I so, think it's, I don't know, did they pass a law that you have to wear a helmet? Like, yeah. mm. So yeah, it's, it's it's tough because you're right. Yeah, it's like when I was a kid, like I didn't have to wear a helmet. That's stupid. I, I, but I get it. I I've I've been knocked in the head hard enough that it affected my brain for sure. It was wasn't due to like a fall something fell on my head, but I can only imagine. Oh, you know yeah. what? That's another thing we have in common. But I didn't get affected. You that, that's a, I don't want to go off on. Well, I guess yeah. go off on that thing. I didn't know that. What yeah. How old were you? Um, I think I just saw something posted. It was, I don't know, like 13 years ago. You see when mine so, was. Actually, that was about the time, or maybe even a bit longer. Yeah, it um, was. I had something, for, actually, in this garage, something fell on my head. I had to go to the emergency room and get a CAT scan. It's funny that you say that. I put that out of my mind. It was so traumatic. It was, mine oh happened the we same had, we time. We have a lot of the similar stories. We did talk about this. Mine was right around the same time that Liam Neeson's wife, <gasps> she was skiing, you remember, right? She was skiing, and yeah, that she up, did that have, she did have a helmet on, I'm sure. No, I think Maybe the not. law, well, I don't, you know what? Maybe, Whatever. because the law changed with Sonny Bono. She, he, yeah. He also crashed into a tree. And that made the law change. Yeah. Sadly, he, she yeah she had a head injury. She might have had a helmet on actually. She died. But it, it was like she, it was an after effect, right? Yes. She, yes. Yeah. 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 And I didn't. That, I didn't yeah, go immediately sad. to the doctors, but it was like three days later. I oh, still had. You did it. Oh yeah, I went rushed to the. Yeah. No, it was. <gasps> it was. I still had a headache, and then I was like oh, so losing sorry. words. Yeah. I couldn't really make sentences. Oh no wonder. She <laughs> <laughs> I know. You, I mean, my my husband was like, "Your head is a magnet because it's been it's been knocked before." But I um, oh. I don't. I do not take them lightly anymore. Mm. I do not take head injuries lightly anymore. And it's like helmet or no helmet. If you knock your head hard enough mm. where either you're, first of all, if you feel nauseous, go. Are they gonna really do much? No, but well, you, it's on a record, scan. right? You can get a CAT scan. But you I know guess. what? I'd rather have that on mm -hmm. record. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if God would like, you yeah. go in for a third one, they're yeah. like, listen, lady. <laughs> yeah. No, I know, it's true. You need to wear a helmet like every day of your life. <laughs> um, yeah. But yes, it was it was bad enough that I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna joke around, I'm not gonna mess around with any hmm. any head injuries anymore. But that is terrible that, you know, kid was just having fun, right? And now insurance isn't gonna cover it. Yeah, yeah, it's heartbreaking, heartbreaking. But um, you know, but they're they're doing the right thing. Um, like I said, raising the money. Um, along with their good heart, they have good barbecue skills. So <laughs> let me tell you what a bit. Let me tell you. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I missed that part of it. <laughs> you, you, we'll get you there mm. next time. We'll get you there next time. Um, they have award winning. Uh, they, they've been um, named the principal barbecue vendor for the New York City Beer, Bourbon and Barbecue Festival. So again, if you're listening to this and you want to go check just google it I'm i was gonna say sure. when is that festival? yeah i'm sure they'll be there again and they've catered for uh warner brothers movie premieres what? and much more yeah they're, it's it's award-winning it's award-winning so i'm wow. definitely what i'm saying is tri-state new jersey connecticut you just even pennsylvania listen phil philly is like three hours from here so i mean all right i'm go. looking at the schedule right it's now worth it. it's worth it uh it's a good weekend in the hudson valley you know you get some barbecue you go for like a hike in new Paltz. Wow. Uh, let the what's that called there? Um, what's that thing? The gunks. They're famous to climb the gunks oh, in mm -hmm. um, that area over there in Orange County. So, and let's see. I don't want to leave out any other shout. Oh, and they 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 are um, they have recognition from Food Network. Wow. So that's pretty cool. That is really great. I think that's all I wrote there. Hmm. So, but uh, yeah. Love this. I might wear this tomorrow. Isn't that such a nice color? Like it is it that soft blue too? with the navy though? It's just I so like it. hot. Is that like is that the Mid Hudson Bridge? It is. Yeah, cool, cool. Yeah, cool. I think they may call this Carolina blue. Oh, it's nice. I just designed a logo for somebody, and he's like, "I need Carolina blue in it." I'm like, "What the hell is Carolina?" 
Well, right? That's cool and all. You, we know cobalt blue. We can picture that in our mind. We know so navy. I, I literally looked up the... Oh, that's beautiful. I the, love um, that shade. Yeah. I literally had to look up, like, the the code, the hue, mm. whatever it's called. I'm like, I found it! <laughs> <laughs> cool. I learn something new every day. I like that you make a little heavy... Were you doing that before I met you? What's that? Making logos? Um... I gotta move my mic. I think I keep looking this way, and I'm telling, I'm yelling, at, I'm yelling at you. No one can hear us. <laughs> I play around with it. Um, You're like a jacket of all trades. I... <laughs> what, what, a Jill? <laughs> of all trades? I don't know. <laughs> I swear. Growing up, we used to. I guess because I'm a brother, we used to say dude, and I was a dudette. Did you guys ever do that? Yes, yeah, so we've done that. Dude and dudette. But yep. a, I go a jacket and a jacket. <laughs> <laughs> At least it wasn't a jackass. <laughs> uh, a Jill, um, that's right. A Jill, yeah, I mean, I, I've played around with different logos for myself, and then um, a gentleman I work with asked if I do it, and I was like, yeah, and he's like, this is what I'm looking for. Well, he was sort of like drawing it out. I was like, first of all, I was like, just please give that to me, <laughs> <laughs> and I'll play around with it, and he loved what I did. Cool. So, yeah. Well, if I ever can get this, um, what's that called, wood burned? Oh, I, yeah, I, I, yeah, I keep, yeah. I keep this. I made, I made this myself too, um, which is whatever. That, that wood burning is. I should. I'm not gonna say super logo, easy, but that you could, you could definitely wood burn that. Yeah, I have a practice over there. One, oh, I did okay. one, one little burnt circle, <laughs> and I'm like, I gotta get that up so we can have it on the uh, in the studio here. But yeah, I just, um, I just, I just drew that freehand. Well, no, actually, yes, I did. I drew it freehand, but I kept. First, like there's oh. all these stages. I don't know how you do it. Did you do it on a computer? Yeah. Did it? Oh, I actually did that freehand. I but then I, I kind of like that. But I cheated. But like I'll do a pencil. Sure. And if it doesn't like the cigar, if it, if it, if it's not like the right dimension, I'll just erase it and keep making the lines. Well, like I'm old. I did it old yeah. school. Very old school. I think I, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Did you know that I did? I did that. I mean, I don't. I yeah, don't... I did that by hand. And then, but see how like the saw came out. Like it's not so. That's supposed to be a saw for like, yeah, like a circular the, the, saw. The workshop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's good, and I think you know. You, I mean, to just be able to do it freehand, I think that's pretty good. I mean, I, I can't really draw. I like I can to do a few things, but nothing. Yeah, I'm the type of personality I think that uh, I like to do. Yeah, like I, I'm a doer. I'm a widget maker. I don't like get bored. I think I could say with like doing the same task again and again. Maybe mm -hmm. yeah. I, I until until it's until no. I'm gonna I'm gonna say this. Maybe it depends what the task is or the widget. But let's say like guitar. Like you know, I think we talked about this last time. How like you name it, music this and that. Mm -hmm. and reading the music, but that's like a dyslexic thing. But let's say I had to, like do like a like a pattern on the on the fingerboard of the guitar. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't get bored with doing that. Like. Lit literally a hundred times like sure that is so mm -hmm. for me i'm just like i'll i'll make stuff i'll do it until you know i guess because i want a result yeah but i mean i'm that way with my camera yeah i mean if you love it you'll do I'll, it right? i'll take 25 photos of the same flower just <laughs> so that i can see what i can do with it yeah what kind of shot can you grab what can you you know and once you master whatever if it's the cord or the the shot then the next time you go to do something you're gonna be like oh that's right i you know yeah i did this the last time let's see if it works on this yeah for sure so right so if you love something i guess you tend to it's not work right i guess or you will just repetitively you get that they do say right well practice makes perfect but do you i don't know what you're gonna say but i was gonna bring this up tell me i just i just saw this little video of this little girl and she was going on how her dance teacher said practice makes perfect and she's like that's not true she's like practice makes you better nobody's perfect <laughs> it's like damn the girl said that to the teacher little girl yes that's kind of true yeah because yeah. i was going to say they they you know because now online we see all these like um what's it like aspirational quotes sure you get we get them 10 to 100 times mm -hmm. a day whereas you know 10 years ago nobody was giving me any quotes no <laughs> so that but i actually needed them, them. <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, but uh, that's it. It's pre perfect practice makes perfect. Is oh. what one of the things I read, and I was like, you know what? No, I never heard it like that before. But that's kind of true. Practice makes you better. Yeah, because no one is perfect. No one is that's perfect. True. 
And, uh, and you know what's funny too, like with cooking, because I love to cook because mm -hmm. it reminds me of, you know, my grandma. That's right. Who's in heaven. And that, you know, a lot of people have that experience, like um, that they want to cook for that nostalgic feeling. I garden for that reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were talking about that. Yeah, that's that's nice. Yep. It brings you solace. Is that the right word? Yeah, my dad liked to play out in the in the lawn and just you know he always had the yard always looked beautiful and I just you know I try to keep my plants growing and so yeah it's nice and you you just makes you feel a connection. Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah. So you garden, I cook for the for the good for the keep the soul. But I was gonna say sometimes like I'll make a a meal it'll be. Perfect. Yes. But then I swear sometimes, like, for whatever reason, it doesn't come out exactly the same way next time. And I'm like, right? what did I do? What did I do? Could be anything. Kid, yes. Kid could be like, ma! And then you're like, ah, I made that sit on the stove too long. So then it's yeah, you just never know. You're like, yeah. oh, this was better last time. <laughs> Still edible. It's all I shoot for sometimes at dinner. <laughs> smoke a little smoke. No, oh, it's drink a little drink. Smoke a little smoke. Eric Church. I like him. Try to get the retro hair in there. All right, so we're gonna talk about these cigars. Both of them together smell beautiful in here. They're nice. I have a nice open drawer. How about you? Yeah, this is good. Yeah, nice open. I mean, both yeah. companies like they really know what they're doing. Yeah, they do. Um, sure. And well, I, what's that? Faux show. Sure. Yeah. And, and the thing is, this is considered, I think, like a boutique cigar brand. But honestly, I mean, this packs a punch just like all the heavy hitters. Yeah, I know you've smoked Sanj Patel before. Mm, love um, it, love it. I don't know that I have, but I'm I'm curious too, so. Yeah. But um, this, I was, you know, I like to do the retro hail so we can tell the viewers out there what it's all about. Gotta pick this up. Let us know. I think actually Luxury Cigar Club, if I'm not mistaken, put these out a few times in their in their monthly mailing so definitely let us know if you if you've had it but uh it's like um I'm, I'm getting like a sense of like a mapley syrup kind of chocolatey undertone um with the creamy sweetness it's like a nice Ooh. um and like I said in the beginning like especially when I lit it with that closed foot it had mm -hmm. a lot of like the spice that typical um really nice um cigar spice but it just it's okay. yeah it's melding really nicely it's really pleasing uh this is um definitely a little ooky mm. a little but it's it's still kind of on the creamy side but i feel like you get that with the lighter ones um it's not it's not super sweet it may come off like mm. with a little bit of a, a sweet smell but it's not um a little bit of a bite at the end i am noticing a bit of, of difference now that i've hit like my my second, second third yeah yeah <laughs> yeah it's funny because sometimes like the aroma coming off of it is a little bit different when the smoke's going Hot, through your yes. palate and yes it's different mm -hmm. and so it's all of it it's all of it melding together yeah i know just being in here is amazing if you could just smell it through the through whatever your <laughs> device is right now <laughs> it smells good smells good smells good all right, so I got my Pearl Jam shirt on today. This is from, I don't even know, 2013, maybe, Lightning. Did you see them? When was the last time you saw Jenny, them? I, you saw them, we saw the same concert once, I think. I saw them the one and only time I've seen them. Oh, with your brother. Uh, yes, that's my brother story. and a few of his friends. It was 1994. Oh, yeah. It's a good year. He's a senior in high school. And, uh... We saw them in Boston at the Garden when it was truly the Garden. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, and now they they've gone back. It's now the TD Garden, but whatever. Um, and it was amazing. It was just you know, yeah, it's like a dream. You know, like I can remember bits and pieces of them and the stage and the crowd and just the the whole vibe that I got. It was just one of those moments where I'm like, I love that I was able to be a part of it. Yeah. Yeah, I think we definitely, we saw the same concert. Yeah. Because I saw them at Madison Square Garden. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, Two nights in a row. Oh, wow. One night with Jen, one night with my <laughs> brother Bobby. My brother Bobby. And uh, it was magical. But, uh, That's a good word for it. But but now, uh, so this, this, I don't, 
I mean, this was this was. She said they kind of go in ebbs and flows. I don't know if you you have every single one of their albums, but some some of them are like more mellow than others. Yeah. And yeah. and you know because Eddie Vedder, um, he plays acoustic guitar. Mm -hmm. um, well, they all. I mean, they all. I mean, like Stone, right? But he's the yeah. Lead. But like, yeah. they'll he'll do like acoustic sometimes, but then the right the backing guys will do the electric. Yeah. So it changes the tone. Like but they're the saying now. I only know. Dark Matter, that's going to be my pick. We're putting it up on the uh, Purosa Music playlist on okay. Spotify. Okay. And it's a public playlist. Download it on Spotify and, you know, listen with us. Again, you know this on YouTube. We can't play the song. We used to play the song. Because um, we really, Marcy and I both, we like to chill with uh, some music yeah. and a cigar. Because in your uh, back patio, you got the outside speakers. We do. So you know how to do it right. You we do. <laughs> I just bring my Bluetooth. Whatever works. Whatever works. But it works. It's Whatever still, works. yeah, it works. It, the Wi-Fi reaches, so. <laughs> then there you go. So, but, um, but yeah, so their new song, Dark Matter, um, it, have you heard it yet? I haven't. Oh, because now I'm, I'll throw it in my... Um, well, their new the album is, well, I think by the time I upload and edit this, it'll be out. It's going to okay. come out. It's coming out this Friday. Their new, uh, the new full album. Um, but it's like, it's Friday. like as heavy as it was. It kind of is reminiscent of like, not 10, I don't want to say 10, but like, like a like an older like uh, maybe mythology or like okay it's got some heavy riffs right. and I liked know. mythology that was that was definitely yeah. one of my favorite yeah favorite albums of theirs yeah 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 that's a good one um but uh, I wanted to point out a line just because we like to you know my pick is my fave lyric out of that song is. Everybody else pays. <laughs> Where's everyone else in the stack? Look at you know, Eddie Vedder gets it. Everybody else pays for someone else's mistake. So um, it's got some heavy riffs. It's, you know, again, back to their earlier days. And um, that's my pick um, for this week's playlist. All right. Dark Matter. Do you have a pick? I do. I've been on like a country kick lately. Oh, and Beyonce is setting a new. Uh, I have not heard it. I will car. not. I, I'm sorry. I just. I don't know. I just can't. I don't know. I hear like the first two lines of that because a lot of people are throwing up. The whole uh, album is country. I. I. I, I don't. <laughs> It's just not for me. I just gave you what I mean. We have we've talked about this before. Like I anybody wants to listen to it, that's fine. Yeah, of um, course. You know, there's a lot of people doing their little TikTok dances to it or whatever. But it's just it's just not for me. I just I don't know. I like, I love it. I love it. Do you? <laughs> I love it. I, I only heard three songs off her album, but that one. What's the hit? I don't even know. Te Texas Hold'em. Yeah, I listen. Lexus. Put your keys up. My, I love it. I will have to say, so, we went to Disney. Let's sing it and make Marcy crazy. <laughs> we went to Disney two years ago. I think two years ago. And um, Frozen, of course, the giant Let It Go song had been out for, I don't even know how many years. And he had never heard it. And he just, he would always be like, I've made it this far without hearing Let It Go. Sure enough, we are standing in front of the castle and all the characters are coming out and they're doing this little skit and here it comes and I know it's coming and my daughter knows it's coming <laughs> and Doug has no idea it's coming. So I make sure that I'm videoing and I'm just like, it's gonna, it's happening. <laughs> Yeah, and it starts amazing. to play and he's he's you can see you know like he's catching on that it's let it go and i was like uh, yeah, you can no longer say that <laughs> so when i was i mean i've definitely been like a country fan mm. for a long time um certainly when i was younger um but that's what my grandparents listen to they always listen to country um and like definitely older country yeah and then I stopped for a while, and now I'm just back into it. And this new song came out by Chris Lane called "Find Another Bar," mm -hmm. and it's this it's a it's a breakup song. And his girlfriend that he was has been with forever they broke up. She broke his heart, and she comes into the bar with her new boyfriend, and he's like, "Damn, I know you saw my truck. Can't you find another bar? Like yeah. seriously, you I know I'm stores. here." No, I'm here, mm -hmm. and you're just gonna rub it in my face that you got a new dress, you got a new man, you got a new whatever. And I don't know, I just love the vibe of it. Mm -hmm. It's a great song, and it just 
Chris he's not Lane. Chris Lane. Yeah, we'll put that up. Yeah. He, um... Got a favorite line? Um, just, can you find another bar? Like, it's just <laughs> so, like, another place to raise him up, you know? Yeah, no, I know I you like saw that. my truck. You're just doing it to be a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I gotta check it out. Um, and it's sort of just like, it's not like a hateful song. It's mm. sort of just like, really? 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 <laughs> <laughs> I just like his voice, too. There it is. Yep, there's our pick. Catch it. Yep. So... What's up next? What time? How much time? We got, we're on the button here. So we're going to, once again, thank you. Thank you so much for subscribing. Again, follow us on Spotify, yeah. um, this and that. This, and if you could rate on Spotify, mm. be kind. Give us a five. We're trying to grow. That would be really cool. But you only if you to, mean it. Only if you mean it. You think so? Uh, you can't just right, give a don't five. Raise, we ask for a five. No, okay, but only if you mean it. But don't rate us if you can't give a five. How about that? Well, I mean, don't be like, I gotta, I gotta you know throw. what? I hate the reviews on like Amazon. They give it one star. Well, my package was late. That's not a one star. You can't rate it for one star because your package was late. Yeah. Did you open the package? Did it work? Then you can read it, okay? It well, sucks sometimes. You know, but if you're like, dude. Is that really a thing, though? Because I thought Amazon yes. was like, one, two, three. Now look at me. <laughs> no, no. It's, there's lateness happening? Sometimes. sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. You know, it's like my box was damaged. All right. That's not any diss on the product. Yeah, tell me and about it's actually product. not the product's fault if the driver, if something was going on, because once right? it gets to the, the depot of like mm -hmm. our town area, it's then it's hands. the individual driver, because you know, not for nothing, there's some really great drivers out there that I converse with and banter and, you know. Amen. And, but then there's others, they literally are throwing it. Yes. And I'm like, oh, yes. we can't, does, does, does Jeff Bezos we, know that you're... We don't have an <laughs> overhang on our porch. Mm. We have a like step two I mean I thought step two it's a plastic bin it mm -hmm. literally says delivery on mm -hmm. it we even painted the letters so that we pop we have had drivers lean our packages up against the delivery box in the rain mm. yeah they don't you know just had to inside. open the cover and put it inside yeah they may, yeah it literally says delivery I, on it I know I get it no just go. I, no I get it I get it because I have some signs too because you know what they might be in fatigue I kind of feel bad for them a little bit they're, they they're lean work... it up against no. the bin. No, they, they shouldn't do that because it's customer service. But I'm just saying, like, <laughs> I do kind of see, like, a little bit. I Even though I'm mad when they, I literally, because, like, I am I come in and out midday yeah. with my shift. And I do see, like, them throwing it. I'm sorry, or even at my neighbor's. And I mean, not in my house. Yeah. But right across the street at the you porch. I'm like, because they can, you know, when you have, like, the porch, maybe that's. And then they're just like, well, it's up in there, like in a safety. Yeah. It just like, t it slides yeah. down the, and I'm like, that, you don't know what's in that. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Anyhow. Go. Here we go. <laughs> All right. So we said our thank yous, same again, this and that. Um, we're going to toast. Say it with us. I know you know it. <laughs> we know you know it. <laughs> All right. Take it away. There are good ships. And there are wood ships. Ships, ships that, that sail, sail the, the sea. sea. But the best ships are friendships. And may they always be. Cheers. Cheers. Alasante. That's our show, folks. <laughs> we will see you next time. Peace. Thanks.